to be looking at solving a word problem and we're going to be using a strategy that we've talked about in the past called the rectangular fraction model. So I'm looking at this word problem and it tells me over the weekend, Nolan drank one sixth quart of orange juice and Andrea drank three fourths quart of orange juice. Okay, so I know that we have one sixth quart and three fourth quarts. How many quarts did they drink together? So whenever I have that word together, I know that my answer is going to have to um, go up or increase. So that tells me that I'm going to have to add. So now I'm looking at my two different people, Nolan and Andrea, and I know that my expression is going to be one sixth plus three fourths. And as I said earlier, we're going to be using a strategy that's called the rectangular fraction model. So whenever I have my rectangular fraction model, my first step is going to be to draw out my fractions using a rectangle. So my first rectangle is going to represent one sixth. So I know that I'm going to have to split up this rectangle into six. So I'm going to start off by splitting it into thirds, and then I'm going to split each third in half. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I know to represent one, my numerator, I'm just going to shade in one of those six. So now my next number is three fourths, or my next fraction, I should say is three fourths. So for that one, I'm going to draw another rectangle. And I know that I have a total of four pieces, or my denominator is four. And out of those four, I have three. So I'm going to go one, two, and three are shaded to represent that I have three fourths of that whole quart that I drank. So now my next step, whenever I'm using that rectangular fraction model, I actually have to split each one of my pieces into the denominator of my other piece. So I'm going to show you what I mean really quick. So I already have my six represented here. Now I'm going to split those six into fourths. And I already have my fourths here, so I'm gonna to have to split those fourths into sixths. So kind of how I did before. I'm going to split it into thirds, and then I'm going to split those thirds into halves. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And notice how I'm making them as equal as possible. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to shade in the top of that one because they didn't quite catch it off. There we go. I want to make sure that I'm as accurate as possible so that my math is correct. So now I'm looking and I have a total of 24 pieces. So I could say that my answer is going to have a denominator of 24 pieces. And I know that because in each one, I have 24 boxes in all. So when I look at this entire piece, there's 24 boxes. When I look at this entire piece, there's 24 boxes. And now my next step is just to figure out how many pieces I have shaded in all. So I see right here I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Then I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Okay, so I have 22 pieces shaded out of 24. So now in my head, I'm thinking, well, can I simplify this? I see right away that both my numerator of 22 and my denominator of 24 can go evenly into two. So remembering those division strategies, 22 divided by two is 11, and 24 divided by two 
is 12. And I knew that they could be divided by two right away because I saw that they were both even numbers. And when I simplified it, I got the answer of 11 twelfths. And I know that I can't simplify anymore because 11 is a prime number, meaning that I can't divide it by anything else. So my last step is going to be to write out my sentence. So I'm going to say, they drank 11 twelfths quart of orange juice. Great. There we go. So that is how I would solve a word problem where I have to add fractions using that rectangular fraction model. Thanks for watching, guys.